Hello friends, so welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in my this particular video I am going to show you the MATLAB implementation of Hopf transformation. Okay, so just recall the algorithm whatever we have discussed in our previous video. Under the new set of coordinates, the Hopf transform can be implemented as step number one, create a 2D array corresponding to discrete set of values for rho and theta. That rho and theta values need not be only integer, but it should be discrete. Okay, that is uh, like any value 0 0.0000001 this cannot be taken this is possible in continuous right but in discrete uh, as we are considering digital signal processing and we are performing in computer so it is not possible to have continuous values so we are taking some discrete values of rho and theta from minimum uh, rho to maximum rho minimum theta to maximum theta okay each element in this array is often referred as accumulator cell as you know for each pixel x comma y in the image and for each chosen values of theta compute x cos theta plus y sin theta that is rho value and write the result in the corresponding position rho comma theta in the accumulator array okay the highest value in the rho theta array will be corresponding to the most relevant lines in the image i have shown you already earlier that how the algorithm works like uh, a p value if we are getting after implementing the algorithm that means p uh, points are basically intersecting uh, p lines are intersecting in our uh, that parameter space okay that same thing is indicated by this third point now let us try to implement the hop transformation in matlab and the matlab software developers has made our this particular job very simple just in this help part you write hop okay and click enter we will be getting multiple documentation related to hub so our aim is extracting the line segment right i have told you connecting the edges so i will be clicking on this hog lines okay and i will be getting the beautiful documentation of this what i will do i will basically click on open live script so as a result all the code will be coming to our this particular editor window now i will just write some simple lines as we write clc clear all close all okay i hope it is visible to you i am read circuit.tif i have shown you this particular image all earlier also while discussing the morphological operation but let me just write i am so i and show you this image once okay so what will happen uh, like generally we get figure window popped up but here the figure window will be attached in our script itself okay this one okay if you want you can click here open in figure window and the figure window will also pop up no problem in that and you can see i hope you have seen this earlier also now what i am doing rather i can say what the documentation has done it has rotated the image okay so and cropped i am so rot of i so if i just run i will be getting this rotated image okay if you want you can ignore this also no problem in that now the inbuilt function to get the hop transformation is h o u g h which is shown here but before that what is the aim of the discussion of hop transformation that is connecting the discontinuous edge right so before applying hop transformation we no need to apply uh, like hop transformation on this we will get the edge using any of the algorithm that may be Sobel edge detection that may be previt edge detection that may be Kenny edge detection and we will apply Hock transformation on the edge okay so how to extract the edge I have already discussed in my previous video BW equal to edge of rot of i Kenny okay Kenny edge detection I am using here if I just run this particular part sorry BW will be capital okay so here this is the detected edge okay and here as you can see some parts like this one this one and here many discontinuous edges are there now we need to try to come up with continuous edge using hog transformation now the inbuilt function to compute the hog uh, transformation is h o u g h most important line of the whole code okay let me just make this bigger yes this one okay h d r hog okay let us try to understand each of this particular output argument one by one 
say h h will give us that accumulator matrix okay where theta and rho are basically our parameter okay t this t will give us basically the theta range okay i have told you na that from minimum theta to maximum theta it will go this t will be giving us that range and this r is basically our low range okay that is the perpendicular drawn from the origin to that line that range is denoted by rho and hog of bw what is bw bw our is our edge detected output image this one right using ken edge detection we have got that and we are showing here okay now this hog transformation matrix i want to show okay so here this particular code is written now what generally we do we write i am so h to show the matrix okay so what i will do i will select this part and make this particular part comment okay so i will just comment this particular line and this line also what i will do i will simply write i am show h okay give semicolon and then x level is theta this slash will make this theta written in string as original theta notation and y level rho this first slash will make that actual symbol of rho axis on axis normal hold on let us run this particular part let us check what output we are getting we are getting this kind of hog transformation okay so as expected you know that hog transformation x cos theta plus y sin theta that is one sinusoid type waveform you should get we are getting that but here the algorithm just understand the third line the highest value in rho theta array will correspond to most relevant line in the image okay now this one is completely white how can you consider that point where uh, intensity or the number of uh, curves are intersecting maximum that is that particular part will be brighter some other part will be lesser brighter okay you cannot even understand because this is completely white now why this is have happening if you just go to workspace and check your h that is hot transform matrix you will be getting double data type and double data type will make anything as completely white if it is go to one and zero means completely black now i don't want this so one simple way is convert that to unsigned integer 8 bit representation as we generally do now run the same and okay spelling mistake it will be u i n t 8 okay if i just run and see here let me just make this pop up and see this is our now beautifully understandable output see this third point again the highest value of rho theta array corresponds to most relevant line okay now observe this particular image okay matrix here you can see this particular part have a uh, very high value i can zoom this particular part also and show you okay see here some particular row theta values are having high uh, intensity all right here this particular part having some part having high intensity okay so our intention is fulfilled this particular one where we are using uint8 can be written like this in another way okay what is that let me just make this uncomment and explain you each point h h will be our basically the double matrix we are not converting to anything okay then this particular square bracket open square bracket close see what it is showing it is showing i am show i low to high range we have to give if we don't give low to high range what will happen basically it will take low value as minimum of your image and high value as maximum of your image now if you uh, give this particular second argument what is importance of this it will basically make all those which are greater than equal to high as white and lesser than equal to low as black and rest of the part it will adjust according to its intensity okay although it is double data type but if you use this it will be like our unsigned integer only that is 
if the value could keep on increasing it will basically making that according to that brighter part okay x theta x theta is our t why t simple t is our theta and x axis is theta right you know theta rho rho is our y axis theta is our x axis so x theta is t y theta is r that is this particular range of rho and then initial magnific magnification this particular argument what it will do it will basically set our this particular output uh, in figure window okay and that i am giving as fit okay so if i just run this particular part i will be getting this particular output okay so here some part it is getting cut what is the reason uh let me just run from here maybe some part point okay let me start from here yes so actually i was using her hold on so as a result previously what was happening along with this image this image was sorry this this image was also coming now you can see that our image is same whatever we are we were getting using unsigned integer 8 also okay so i hope up to this the concept is clear to you how you can use hog and uh, you can get your hog transform and what is how you can get extract the theta range and rho range which i have shown you in my previous video okay in my next video i will discuss or explain the rest of the part okay that is this part okay thank you for watching